In speaking task 4, you will see the same image as the one that you saw in task 3. However, this time you will be asked to predict what you think will happen next. One of the main areas of assessment in this task is your ability to use the proper grammatical form when making these predictions. This means you should be able to use the simple future tense with will, or be going to, or this structure. I also want to remind you that you get 30 seconds to prepare for the task and your recording time should be about 60 seconds. So let's take a look at the task first and then watch a sample. Tell me what you think her score would be. Did she miss anything? Did she make any mistakes? Let us know in the comments below. So the cyclists, um, because they are approaching the fire, I think they're going to stop very soon and they are probably going to get off their bikes. Um, maybe they're going to help. Uh, the fact that there is a fire indicates that there's something wrong going on, I think, and there are these children holding signs. So. Um, I imagine also that there are adults that are going to approach the children and maybe help them or maybe remove them. I mean, take them away from the fire. Um, the buses are also going to stop uh, because they can't get through. Uh, it's been blocked by this fire and by these big branches. And um, I imagine that some sort of help will come. Maybe the police will come or an ambulance or firefighters, who knows, but uh, some sort of help, um, uh, yeah, will be coming soon. Great, hope you found this episode useful. On our channel, you can find so many other self up speaking videos. So here's the link if you're interested. These videos are also great for general English practice. Best of luck and happy learning.